Thank fuck, dude. Holy shit. I was recording that right good, thank god. That was terrible. Oh my god, genuinely one of the most soul-crushing experiences I've had in this game in a while. Holy shit, 1778 on main, and then I made a tiny little copy for just a little bit. 1778 plus 57. How the fuck is anyone thinking that this, maybe it's an insane demon? Dude, this is harder than every entry-level extreme I've done. Like, this is harder than Kata, this is harder than Accu, this is harder than Precipitance, this is harder than Phantasmagoria. In my mind, this is... <sighs> Where do I have this in my mind? I don't know. This is so clearly an extreme to me that, like, the discussion of maybe it's an insane demon boggles my mind. Because it's nowhere close. It, like, it's, it's, it's not even, like, sort of. Oh my god. So, practicing this was a nightmare. 1835 attempts. Great. Awesome. Fucking go away. Get out of my life. I never want to see you again. Oh, uh, no, it's not even saved. I don't even have it saved. I don't even have it saved. I didn't even get that far. I didn't even give it that fucking honor. Okay. Oh, because I beat it. Yeah. Great. So, I mean, where do I begin? Like, where do I start? So, okay, I saw this level on Twitter, both being, like, both, like, the layout, once it was done, I think was posted or something, or a preview of it, maybe. And then the final product being verified. And I was like, this level looks fucking sick. I'm going to love this. Like, I just went into it. Like, this is such a me kind of level, right? It's somewhat memory-based. There's a really clever concept behind it. There's some unconventional gameplay. And then once I actually started learning it, this became one of my least favorite anythings ever. Which is so sad. Like, I, I'm so disappointed that I didn't enjoy this. But this was fucking miserable. And part of the reason is, I think part of the reason is, it's an Evan verification, and Evan has mentioned multiple times that they're a particular fan of second half heavy levels, right? Backloaded levels, um, which is just like so not my thing. Like, I want to do the fucking terrible bits at the start, and then if I get to 30, I want to have a really good shot of beating the level, right? I don't want to have to worry about some fucking RNG click at 82, which, by the way, there's an RNG click at 82 in this level. The fucking, the click, it's the, it's the, 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 the mini ship. The blue orb inside the yellow portal, right before the ball genuinely felt like you had no control over it like in practice it was about a 50 percent pass rate like there was actually nothing i could do to make it any more consistent and uh, nothing uh, seriously like okay i could have gotten it to the point where it was consistent but to do that it would have taken about 2,000 attempts on that one click alone like it, it was ridiculous it was fucking ridiculous and of course the whole last ball is a choke point like every click in the last ball is a fucking choke point i don't understand how you can balance a level like this and find it enjoyable and it, 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 yes it's ultimately it's a matter of taste but just it's it seems so blatantly ob like it, it feels like objectively unfun but clearly it's not because there are people that love levels that have this kind of balancing it just blows my mind. The wave part was fine. The only problem with the wave part was visibility. The way that it was structured, which I understand, the way that it was structured was a byproduct of the gimmick of the level, right? If you're following the rule, right, that the gameplay is flipped and offset five blocks, right? If you're following that rule, you're not going to be able to deliver readability, right? So, like, I get that. But I genuinely felt like I was playing an invisible level in the wave part at moments, which... Like I say, yes, unavoidable, but that doesn't mean I'm going to excuse it. Like, it still wasn't fun. I still didn't enjoy it, right? Um, the mini ship has so much more ship control than should ever be requested of you in 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 an extreme. Or in an insane, I mean. Like, it's this is so clearly an extreme. The UFO, the click, um, the click before the, like, quick double tap that has the pink dash orb in it. At like I want to say 30-ish, where you have to like just barely undershoot the down gravity portal, or not down gravity portal, the the cube portal. The spike there, the like dark, like dark gray, like black spike there. Just remove that, and then that click is not a problem. But with it, it feels like a massive choke point. Like it's just so obnoxious. Um, 
the ship after that was fine, and the beginning was fine. Like, like I say, it was, it was more or less fine. There were just so many beats along the way where it was just like, fucking, what are you thinking? Right? Like, what the fuck was the plan here? It just boggles my mind that this all had seven playtesters, and no one thought the Click It 82 was a little bullshit. And no one thought that the Oh, by the way, the fucking- I'm gonna just get a copy of the level again. This Click- I'm just gonna pull it up. I'm just gonna fucking pull it up. This Click right- Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Right here, right? These move in. So typically, there's a spike- these spikes move in, right? So like this moves up and this moves down, right? The click off of the ground into this, then into that, is a buffer, but only sometimes, and it entirely depends on how you hit this dash orb. Fucking what? Like, if you hit this too early, you'll fall and hit this spike. If you hit this too late, you'll hit this so soon that you hit this spike. So this being a buffer, this click here, being a buffer is entirely contingent on this click and you have like no idea whether or not you timed it right because you're moving so fast because you're a dash or pointed directly at the ground the last two clicks i thought were going to be awful they were probably my favorite two clicks of this ball part like that's not good it's not this click you have to time so fucking late and depending on how you go up into this portal you're going to do this differently every time this click with the dash orb here you have to barely dodge this portal but then you can hit the side of this block and this portal's hitbox is so much bigger than the portal's texture it's just not fun to try to dodge that shit this click was annoying but i never died to it from zero thank fuck um just just so many like questionable decisions in this part this black orb was annoying as shit like just everything just everything this is the click i was talking about earlier that just genuinely felt rng like just fucking hope it works good, good fucking luck everything in this shit part was way too difficult the visibility in the wave was subpar at best like everything about this this dash orb this dash orb right here you have to go up and you can do this in one up and one let go, but the timing to do that is so ridiculous that I ha had to do one up, let go, and then like correct in. But sometimes I'd hit this, and it really didn't feel like there was anything I did differently. Sometimes i just hit that dash orb, and whoop, down I go. Too bad, so sad, fuck you, right? Like, this whole fucking level is just an enigma to me. It's just the whole thing. This transition in is just not fun. Like, it's fine. It's whatever. But I don't. I didn't enjoy it. It was just kind of obnoxious. You can die to that spike by hitting this too early, which is so cool, so cool, so fucking cool that that can happen. Just so much of this level makes it. How did seven people? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And I really wish I did because, like I say, visually, love the deco in this. Absolutely adore it. The gameplay concept is so cool, like I said, the song and the atmosphere and the level, like everything works so well together here, so I don't just want to needlessly shit on it, but my experience with this was genuinely insufferable, and I'm not going to just ignore that because the level's cool, right? Like yes, the level's cool, and I'm glad it got rated, and I think it deserved rate, I'm not saying it, do it didn't, but holy fuck, this sucked, like this just fucking sucked for me. And I'm so mad that it sucked, because I wanted to like it so badly. And when I started out, I was like, here we go, fun, like, you know, like, high end, insane, low end, extreme. Fucking god damn, dude. Just fucking terrible. I mean, just like, I hated every second of this. <sighs> I gotta go fucking take a cold shower for multiple reasons, this being one of them. So... I'm sorry, Cordo. I'm sorry, Evan. I'm sorry, playtesters. I just, like, like I say, nothing personal, and I'm not trying to say that the level is bad. I'm not trying to make any, state, make any objective statements. It's all a matter of personal preference. Whatever. Just all this cover my ass shit. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick about this, but, like, this, I was genuinely furious every time I died to anything in this level. <sighs> Thank God, that's fucking over. I'm gonna cut the recording here now, but I'm not, you, again, another, I'm just not even gonna give this a fucking vibrato. I'm gonna cut the recording here, bye.